can see the wreckage really close to that home. And we know it all started around 4.30 this morning when this twin engine, Cessna 404, it's basically a small cargo plane headed for DIA. The pilot uh, was killed in this, this crash. He was the only person on board. But the pilot reported right before the crash that there was some sort of an engine failure. He lost power to his engine and then crashed here in this neighborhood. The plane apparently cartwheeled several times and stopped just short of this home, like you said, Kyle, about 10 feet away from the home, completely shocking the man and woman who were sleeping inside. Take a listen. And all of a sudden, there's this huge crash noise. I honestly don't know how to describe that, but um, a big, big crash, and then uh, the room just lit up like daylight. So a lot of unanswered questions still, Kyle. The NTSB is here uh, basically sorting through the wreckage right now. They're hoping that they can eventually collect this, uh, all of the debris here today, take it to a, a different location where they will do a further investigation. There are three main parts that they're really going to focus on. One is the plane. What kind of condition was the plane in before it took off from Centennial Airport? Number two, the pilot. How prepared was this pilot for flying in these conditions? And that brings the third point, the weather. I asked NTSB, could these very low temperatures have an effect on an engine like this. They say that's absolutely possible and it is indeed a part of their investigation.